the question is like this a simply suffered beam of 4 meter length is carrying uniformly distributed load of 10 kN per meter load intensity. Its cross sectional area is rectangular with 100 mm width and 200 mm depth. The maximum bending stress developed in beam is how much in megapascal? So, diagram is given. So, I am drawing the diagram once again here. So, it is a uniformly distributed load. <coughs> there is a uniformly distributed load of intensity 10 kN per meter. So, this is 10 kN per meter. So, this is the load intensity here and we are, uh, we are having this load intensity on a beam which is a simply supported beam here. So, simply supported beam will be having a uh, hinged uh, and roller support here. So, anyways, so if you are drawing the fever diagram and finding out this particular uh, reaction forces, you will be getting this one to be Q L by 2, this one also be Q L by 2. So, you have uniformly distributed load of intensity Q Newton per meter here. So, I am putting Q in terms of Newton per meter here. So, for this loading case, we have maximum bending moment given by Q L square by 8 here. So, Q L square by 8, if you are getting, this is equal to 10 into 10 Q into length. Length is equal to minus 4 meters. So, 16 by 2, this comes out to be 8 into so, 16 by 8, sorry. So, we will be getting it, we <coughs> will be getting it as 8 into, so 2 into 10 power of 4 Newton meter. So, you got the bending moment. Now, let us get the value of bending stress. So, using Euler's Benoit's equation, we have sigma by y is equal to m by i. So, we have in this case, as it is a rectangle of having a width of 100 millimeters and having a uh, depth of 200 millimeters. So, y value is equal to given by 0 0.1, half of this 200, so 100 millimeters, so 0 0.1 meter and i is equal to given by, so uh, bd cube by 12. So, 100 into 200 whole cube by 12 millimeter power of 4. So, y value and i value here. So, if you substitute all of them in terms of uh, respective units, so you better substitute everything in terms of SI units only, so then you will be getting sigma in terms of Pascal, then you will convert into mega Pascal. So ultimately you will be getting sigma value as 30 mega Pascal. You can check the calculations, you will be getting the answer as 30 mega Pascal there. It's a very simple question.